Biomes are large areas of the environment that are classified by their vegetation, soil, climate, and their wildlife. All of which are controlled by their temperatures and precipitation. Today, we are talking about the tropical rainforests. Tropical rainforests are some of the most productive and oldest ecosystems on the planet, some surviving close to 70 million years old, mainly found between the tropics of Cancer and the tropics of Capricorn. These ecosystems cover only around 6% of the Earth's surface, but hold over half of the world's plant and animal species. The rainforest can receive anywhere from 80 to 390 inches of rain each year. The largest rainforests surround the Congo River in Africa and the Amazon River in South America. It is home to over 40,000 plant species, 1,300 bird species, 3,000 species of fish, 427 mammals, and 2.5 million different species of insects. The Congo rainforest is home to some of the most endangered and recognizable rainforest animals, like the mountain gorillas, forest elephants, and chimpanzees. The rainforest is structured into four separate layers. The emergent layer, the canopy, the understory, and the forest floor. And each layer is its own world that plants and animals have to adapt to be able to survive in these complex environments. The emergent layer is the topmost layer of the tallest trees. Some of them can reach up to 230 feet. This layer receives the most sunlight, heat, and wind. Because of the harsh rays of sunlight, the plants have derived special adaptations of a waxy covering to protect their leaves. But those plants use that sunlight to create fruits, flowers, and seeds, which are all eaten by the animals that call the emergent layer home. Animals like butterflies, parrots, macaws, and monkeys. Being that high up, you need to be agile with a great sense of balance, so you don't see too many big animals in the emergent layer. Well, except maybe the sloth. Many other animals like hummingbirds, bats, spider and capuchin monkeys call this layer home as well. But there are dangers high up in the trees. Large predatory birds like harpy eagles nest in the emergent layer. These are the apex predators of the treetops, and they prey on sloths and monkeys. Traveling down from the emergent layer, we reach the canopy, a deep layer of heavy vegetation up to 20 feet thick. This thick layer of vegetation forms a roof over the rest of the rainforest and blocks out most of the sunlight, winds, and rainfall to the understory and forest floor. This creates a hot, humid, still, and dark environment. Plants in this layer have developed adaptations to deal with the damp environment by producing glossy layer over their leaves. While plants in the emergent layer rely on winds to disperse their seeds, plants in the canopy layer don't have the winds to help them. Instead, a lot of plants produce sweet tasting fruits to entice the animals in the canopy layer to eat them and disperse their seeds through their droppings. And there is a surplus of fruits and nuts all year long. With so much food available all the time, more animals live in the canopy layer than any other layer of the rainforest. Animals like the howler and spider monkeys and the pygmy anteater have special tails to help them navigate and move around the dense vegetation. Many of these animals also have very strong muscles in their legs to help them leap from branch to branch. Many birds of this layer have large, strong bills like the toucans and macaws. These bills are used to crack open the surplus of nuts the trees provide. With all of this food provided, there is a lot of competition for it. Some animals like fruit bats reduce the amount of competition by coming out at night. Being nocturnal means they don't have to compete with the numerous mammal and bird species that feed on the same fruits during the day. 
The next layer down under the canopy is what's called the rainforest understory. This is a damp, warm, sheltered area. This area receives little sunlight and wind as it is blocked by the canopy. This is the area of the rainforest with large leaf shrubs that are adapted to low light environments. Most plants in this layer produce large, brightly colored flowers. Others produce strong smells. These features help pollinators find them in the darker understory. Many animals take advantage of the sparse sunlight in this area of the forest. Take the apex predator of the Amazon rainforest, the jaguar. The spots of the jaguar resemble flecks of light that peek through the canopy. This serves as camouflage as it sneaks up on its prey. This damp environment is the ideal environment for amphibians like poison dart frogs. And these guys are anything but camouflaged. Instead, they stick out like a sore thumb. Those bright colors are a warning sign to predators to basically say, eat me, I dare ya. These little amphibians are so poisonous that one millionth of an ounce of their poison can kill a dog. Since amphibians need damp environments for their skin, this part of the forest is perfect for them. In fact, there are close to 430 species of amphibians in the Amazon rainforest and 260 in the Congo. Many of these also take advantage of the camouflage in the rainforest. The lowest layer of the rainforest is the forest floor. This is the darkest of the layers. Only 2% of sunlight that hits the emergent layer reaches the forest floor. Leaves and other organic material that fall to the forest floor are decomposed rather fast by the large amounts of slugs, termites and other insects, worms, and fungi. They return all of those nutrients back into the soil for all of the plants. The floor of the rainforest acts like a fast-acting compost pile. And each one of those decomposers serves as a food source for something else like insect-eating rodents, scorpions, and birds, which all in turn are prey to larger predators like the fertilants, pythons, smaller cats like the serval, and eventually apex predators like the green anaconda, jaguars, leopards, caiman, and crocodiles. The rainforest is truly an eat or be eaten world. Tropical rainforests may be the most biodiverse biome and ecosystems on the planet, but that doesn't mean it's easy. The fight for survival never stops. Whether you are a plant fighting to get enough sunlight through the thick canopy, an apex predator staying hidden in the dark understory, producing venom to subdue prey that's larger than you or poison strong enough to kill your attacker. Animals in the rainforest face danger 24-7 and need to be able to adapt or be dinner. <laughs>